strong. As C.S. Lewis said, hardships often prepare ordinary people for an extraordinary destiny. People look at their past to decide who they are. People look at their past to decide who they can be. But the problem is, oftentimes, people mistake difficulties, suffering, pain for being bad, being less than, being broken, and it erodes their sense of self-esteem. It erodes their sense of self-worth. But nothing could be more opposite from the truth because in reality, no matter what you've gone through, no matter how hard it was, all of it was shaping you into the person that you can become. The hardships, the difficulties, the pain, the suffering, all of that makes you tougher. It is literally in the difficulties that you begin to find just how much you're capable of. It's in the suffering that you find out how resilient you are. It's in the pain that you can rise up and get tough. And all of that is going to serve you as you move forward, but you have to know how to frame it. You have to know how to think about it. You have to know that whatever you've been through, that all of it is an opportunity to learn. All of it is an opportunity to grow. All of it is an opportunity to get better, but you have to use it to shape yourself. You have to lean into it. You have to know that the pain and the suffering, all of it is serving you. But if you're telling yourself a story that diminishes you, if you're telling yourself a story that bad things have happened to me or I've done bad things and that makes me a bad person, then none of it is going to help you and you're always going to move backwards and it's going to be this stress and this pressure that's pushing you backwards. Instead, if you could put it behind you, said it pushes you forward, it propels you to be more, then no matter what's happened to you, you can become something truly extraordinary. So even when you're making mistakes, even when you're falling down, if in that you can see that it's an opportunity, it's a lesson, it's something that you've learned, even when you're running and you stumble and you trip and you scrape yourself all across the pavement, you're still moving forward. As long as you get back up, dust yourself off and keep going, it doesn't matter that you fell. It doesn't matter that you embarrassed yourself. It doesn't matter that you made a mistake or that you look stupid. None of that matters. The only thing that matters is how do you think about it? Do you let it be something that moves you backwards? Or do you recognize at least it was momentum, at least you were going, at least you tried, at least you were putting your energy into something, at least you were willing to take a risk. And that's where most people fail. They're never willing to put themselves out there because they don't see the momentum, they don't see the forward movement, they only see the failure. It really is that easy and I know that you've heard this a thousand times and I know that people are telling you all the time that failure is a part of the learning process. But so is the voice that says you're a fuck up. So is the voice that tells you that you're unworthy. But it's up to you to decide to ignore that voice. It's up to you to prove that voice wrong. It's up to you to love yourself. And yes, I know that's easier said than done. And yes, I know each and every one of us has to do things to be worthy of loving ourselves. We have to take that leap of faith. We have to be willing to look at our inadequacies. We have to be willing to get up and do ourselves a service. We have to be willing to serve ourselves. And you do owe yourself that. And you do have to take action. And you do have to be proactive. But if you do that, you don't need extraordinary accomplishments. You just need to know that you're trying. You need to know that when you fall, you're going to get back up. You need to know that you'll keep pushing forward. You need to know that you won't give up, even if you've given up in the past. And once you know that about yourself, once you know that every day is a day, an opportunity to reinvent yourself, that's all you need to believe in. That's all you need to build that self-worth is to tell yourself you're going to do something better today than you did yesterday. That's it. It doesn't need to be grand. It doesn't need to be extraordinary. It simply needs to be a commitment to yourself. If you commit to yourself, if you commit to love yourself, despite everything that's happened to you, despite everything you've done, your life can be beautiful. But it starts with the decision to move forward.